almost everything we buy winds up in a landfill and is lost to society forever. Imagine a world where garbage is a resource. Imagine a world where we can save our ocean while solving the global waste crisis. Imagine a world where we can give back to our planet its resources. You don't have to imagine it anymore. It is here and we're doing it now. The Energia team has acquired, developed and integrated technologies that allow to maximize revalorization of solid waste. I'm Rob Murray. I'm the Vice President of Project Execution for Energia. I'm building projects around the world. The plant's fascinating to us from an engineering perspective because it uses state-of-the-art technologies to receive the trash and break it down into its fundamental components. The economics are helpful because the recycled materials can be sold, which helps offset the cost of operating the plant. Biogas generated from the organic portion of the trash um, being converted into electricity. Ultimately, the biological component becomes a fertilizer, which is reused in land application. And all the wastewater from the different areas of the plant is collected and treated and put through reverse osmosis, proving the concept that trash is a resource and the landfill is obsolete. If you look at food waste and the amount of greenhouse gases produced by it around the world, it's actually as much as all of the transportation on the planet combined. We also lose the fertilizer value to restore depleted soils of both fertilizer and organic content. Limassol had a big problem with the waste. Two years ago, they were landfilling every waste that came. So we have been asked to make a plant that would treat the incoming waste and produce recyclables, secondary fuel, clean the air, clean water, and a very small percentage of waste still going to the landfill. The waste comes to the plant from the municipal trucks. They're weighed before coming up to the plant to know exactly how much garbage we're receiving and then they dump all their waste into a tipping pit. This is a large bunker where we can store the garbage and process it. From this pit, we have two overhead grapples that collect the waste and send it into the first step of the process, the bag openers. Most of our waste comes in garbage bags, so before we can access the waste inside to be able to treat it, we need to open those bags. Here we have pickers that take out specific items from the waste stream. We remove glass at this point. We remove long pieces of plastic film, electronic waste, medical waste. After the manual sorting, we have magnets which separate the large metallic pieces out of the waste. After these magnets, we have machines called disc screens. The disc screens serve to separate the organic material. Waste smaller than a pre-programmed size falls beneath. So this is a way of separating the waste by size. Like other plants, we have separation equipment that allows to efficiently remove the recyclables from the waste, such as plastics, metals, paper, glass, and the RDF, SRF. Unlike other plants, we have the Oryx that extracts up to 95% of food waste from the garbage. This organic fraction is fed into the digesters, which is an important part of our process since it allows to generate electricity and fertilizer, thus reducing our cost of treatment and giving back to the earth the fertilizer. And the Oryx is a key piece of technology for this plant because it serves to very effectively separate the organics from the non-organic material. The way it works is a very high level of pressure is applied to the waste. Anything organic which is found in this waste is liquefied by the pressure. This paste is conveyed away for treatment and biogas production. In Limassol, we only send 11% of the residual waste back to the landfill. After the mechanical sorting and we've recovered the organic polished pulp, we digest it in these large mesophilic anaerobic digesters. 
They're operated at 38 degrees Celsius, and that produces a very rich biogas, high in methane. The combined heat and power units generate nearly two megawatts at this plant, and it's enough to completely satisfy the load of our mechanical sorting facility, our wastewater treatment plant, and all of our digestion technology. This has never been done before. We don't actually consume any net amount of water. We generate a surplus of electricity. We sell the recyclables. We're land applying a fertilizer. And the story is very, very exciting for us in the engineering world. I mean, we bring in waste and we take out clean air, clean water, plastics, paper, fuel. It's amazing. If you come and see the truck coming in and what goes out, then you can just be happy. Growing up, I remember running around on the beach and wondering why there were tin cans or other things thrown around. And all this is changing. I'd like to state how proud I am as a citizen of Cyprus to see this uh, state-of-the-art facility bringing innovation and change, positive change for the environment and our natural resources. I dream of a world where we humans find ways of stop depleting and start healing this plant and the many that will follow will make the world a much better place.